Hey, it's me, Jay Van Dam. For 25 years, I've been walking the banks and catching fish. We'll let her go. Welcome to my show, Rods in the Dirt. Fish on! Fish on! Hey, it's me, Jay Van Dam. Uh, today we're out in strip mine territory, so to say. We've hiked in oh, about a quarter mile or so to this strip mine pond we found. Wonderful scenery out here, beautiful place. The fishing is usually real good. There's good populations of bluegill, bass, uh, some of these ponds you'll find crappie and catfish in. We've got some wax worms and some night crawlers and we're gonna try catching some bluegill and some bass. Sort of surveying where I'm gonna walk here. And uh, that's something you gotta take into consideration when you're coming out to fish these strip mines. Sometimes the walks can be sort of tough. You just gotta be careful and move along and you want to try to read the water. It's like reading the water anywhere else. Um, you're looking for places that's going to hold some fish. Same kind of uh, knowledge is needed to fish all areas of water. And um, the ponds are same way. They aren't just sitting out there most generally everywhere. They're on some structure or something of that nature. So I'm going to take a hike and head up in here. And... We'll see if we can find some fish. I'm making my way through, and as I'm walking along, I'm taking time to look in the water and see if I can see any structure or points or big boulders that are buried out here. Um, the water is pretty clear, so you can see pretty good. It helps to wear polarized glasses. Keep moving along. I made my way along this bank, and you'll notice you start running into a bunch of trees that have been blowed over and are laying in the water. The water's crystal clear, and these fish are pretty human smart. And they know something's not right when something's up here walking along the bank. So one of the main things I try to do when I'm walking through is see which way I want to go through. And as you can see, animals have made paths going through here. I'm going to go under. When you're going under or over a pile of logs like this that's into the water, you want to try to be really careful not to jostle them around a lot because... The fish will notice that there's a lot of waves coming from those laydowns that aren't normal or typical. So as you're moving back through and looking for fish, you also want to be careful to try not to scare fish too. The bluegills seem to be biting pretty good. so. I tied on uh, two what they call ant lures, which are small little hunks of lead that are painted on a small hook. And I tied two of them on. I've got it set on oh, 24, 30 inches. And I've got one, and then I come down about six to eight inches and tie on another one. I got him that way. It's like a crappie. Nope, it's a large one. Little bass. 
No, it is a crappie. It's a nice crappie, man. And I like to use different colors, and you can sort of find out which ones they like the best. And I'll take some wax worms and thread a wax worm on each one, and we'll throw it out. I like to throw it out. You can see trees down all over. And usually the fish will congregate around the trees, so that's where I like to start. Nice little crappie. Good eaters. You had a bunch of them. I've been getting hits out there. It was out in the deeper part. This tree goes out, and I can tell there's a drop off there. It must be right there on the edge of it. Nice little crappie. I thought it was a little large mouth. I think. You're using those wee little tiny hooks. Like that ant's got like a size 10 hook on it. And sometimes it's difficult to hook the bigger mouth fish like a crappie or a bass. Got a suspending bait here. Jerk bait. And uh, just throwing it out and sort of fishing it erratically. And then uh, the suspending lures, you fish them down to a certain depth and uh, they'll actually stay there. So if you reel it down five foot, it'll just sit there. And if there's a bass sitting there, it's just sitting there in front of its face and just about has to hit it. We're out here at a strip mine pond. And uh, I haven't fished here in about 20 years. Got a nice bass out of it. Got a bite. Wax worms, I got him. Another bluegill. Finishing up this evening out the strip mines. That's a little bit nicer one. Nice fat bluegill. Caught six in about five minutes here where it's getting close to dark. It's really turned on. Just using three or four wax worms. Little tiny bluegill hook. Got a nice little mess of them here. There's some eaters. Nice fish. Come on. Come on back in. 